Whether you call it New Year's Eve, Hogmanay or Old Year's Night, Edinburgh is the best place to celebrate it. But before you attend this full dose of fun extravaganza, there are a few things you need to know. A few things that would make this party a memorable one for you. So in this video, we'll be going over the top 10 things you cannot live without knowing about Edinburgh's Hogmanay Festival Street Party. And you might want to stick to the end because the number one thing on our list would absolutely blow your mind. Number 10 is the Torchlight Procession. The best part of Hogmanay in Scotland is that the fun isn't only for one night. It's a whole three-night fiesta. The street party kick starts on the 30th of December with the Torchlight Procession, which has previously been referred to as the River of Fire due to the awesome effects it creates then runs all the way to New Year's Eve. The torchlight procession can be traced to pre-Christian festivals when Vikings celebrated the winter solstice. Around that time, thousands of people marched from the city centre to Calton Hill with flaming torches of burlap and wax led by pipes and drums and the Uphelia Vikings from the Shetland Islands. Number 9 is the Street Party if you see yourself not liking the awesome torchlight procession, then I guarantee you that on the 31st of December, you will fall in love with Hogmanay's street party. Because whether you believe it or not, this party is regarded as the best street party, not just in the UK, but in the world. Several stages are set up around the city centre and popular bands, singers and DJs are invited to play. There's even the silent disco where nobody can shame you for grooving out to whichever tunes are making your hips move. And believe it when we say that you might get the best moments of your life during this street party. And of course, a party is not complete without food and drinks like what's Scotland without drinks, right? There's a wide variety of food and drinks that are available for you to wine and dine. Your biggest problem at the Edinburgh Festival Street Party might be your stomach getting filled up even before you have the chance to satisfy your taste buds. This festival isn't all about the street party which goes on into the night until we get to the next event, which brings us to our number 8 which is the Cayley Dance under the castle. The celebrations don't stop there because under the iconic castle of Edinburgh, the Cayley Dance takes place. Here you see people dancing the night away in the traditional Scottish dance, joining hands with old friends and new to dance into the new year with a Cayley band and plenty of local food and drinks to keep you spinning all night. Don't worry about not knowing the steps, there's always a caller shouting out instructions to the dancers and messing up is part of the fun. There's nothing like experiencing a true Scottish Cayley with all the bells and whistles, especially on Hogmanay. As it draws closer to 12 midnight on New Year's Eve, the countdown begins and everyone is joyously counting down. The bell rings to the usher in the New Year's and this brings us to our number 7 which is the impressive display of the lovely fireworks. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful, a sight to behold. Just imagine that, an old castle upon a hill being lit up in different colours and then fireworks above it. The unforgettable fireworks are displayed above Edinburgh's old castle and this is the most amazing fireworks scenery you probably will ever see. Trust me when I say it will definitely blow your mind. The fireworks are then followed by number 6 event where everyone links arms and sings Old Lang Syne as it was intended, a tradition that began in Scotland. Although the sobering words of Auld Lang Syne resonate throughout the world at midnight every New Year's Day, there's something extra special about singing it in the land in which it was created. Auld Lang Syne is one of the Scottish poet Rabbi Burns' many masterpieces. Top tip, you only cross your arms in the last verse and there's a part where you run in and out of the circle at full speed. Things may get a little rowdy, but nothing screams solidarity among strangers and friends like linking arms and embracing this Scottish New Year's tradition. While the after parties go on any time after midnight, our number 5 which is the custom of first footing is observed. 
The aim of the first footing custom is to be the first foot across the threshold of your nearest and dearest one's home. Traditionally speaking, people prefer dark-haired men to arrive first as it's believed to bring good luck for the upcoming year. Fair-haired people weren't as encouraged after Viking invasion times. However, nowadays all are welcome. So as long as you bring a gift, it's like bad luck if you don't. Popular gifts include shortbread, the traditional hogmanay food of black buns, whiskey for toasts, and coal for warmth. Nowadays, Scots are known to improvise. Any gift goes. Really. Now, once it's midnight on the dot, forget the New Year's Day kiss and head to Stonehaven to experience the most unforgettable moment of your year. Our number four, which is Stonehaven's fireballs, is a sight to behold from a safe distance. Every Hogmanay, a parade of kilted men and women march through the main streets of this fishing village at the moment the clock strikes midnight, swinging great big fireballs around their heads. This age-old tradition stems from a 19th century fisherman's festival. However, its roots predate Christianity. Thankfully for onlookers, these mighty fireballs are contained in cages for safety purposes and are stuffed with things like old jeans, newspapers and cardboard. It's believed that the ceremony wards off evil spirits for the new year. And just like we've said a hundred times in this video, it's an experience you don't want to miss for anything. As much as the Stonehaven's fireballs sound pretty cool, I can't think of a better way to ring in a new year then throwing myself into a freezing cold river at the dawn of day. Can you? Well, if you're like me and you're a huge fan of freezing cold rivers, then you would like our number three because you would find it interesting to hop into this albeit odd but fun post hogmanay tradition. The Looney Duke began on the 1st of January 1987 and has been going strong ever since. It consists of about a thousand people in silly costumes parading through the town of South Queensferry led by a cool marching band and then plunging into the River Forth to raise money for charity. Yes, it's cold and yes, it's crazy, but it is so much fun. What a crazy way to start the new year. As New Year's Day comes to dusk, our number two thing, which is the message from the skies, is one very relaxing way to close up the events of Hogmanay. Although this lasts till the 25th of January or the end of January, I guarantee you'll see projections popping up around Edinburgh onto various different landmarks, historic buildings and iconic monuments across the city. You can see yourself exploring Edinburgh through the projections of literary trails with pieces of renowned authors based on a different theme each year. If you're looking for a brisk walk to clear your hangover and are only in town for a few days over Hogmanay, then from dusk on New Year's Day, they can be enjoyed. It's really so relaxing. And apart from the series of events, musical displays, performances and art shows that really make Edinburgh's Hogmanay worthwhile, another secret ingredient that makes it a place to be to celebrate New Year's Eve and New Year's Day is the number one on our list, which is the lovely people of Scotland. And to be honest, this is one of the most important things that make the festival one in a million. Like it's ultimately the people that make this festival special. Whether it's a stranger, an acquaintance, family or a friend, all those visiting Scotland for Hogmanay are actually guaranteed a warm welcome. Cheers to all the Scottish people watching right now, you're all the best. They are such lovely people, always friendly with a great sense of humour. Although you will need some time to catch their accent, and you may probably never understand every single word they say, that's if you're not familiar with their accent or you are probably just coming around them for the first time. However, this doesn't take away the fact that they're such nice people, making your New Year's Eve and New Year's Day in Edinburgh even better. Everyone takes care of each other, not to mention the great pub culture, the welcoming atmosphere and the traditional Scottish hospitality.